I'm going to bust a myth here that renewables such as wind and solar increase electricity prices. Hi, I'm Mark Jacobson, professor of civil and environmental engineering at Stanford University to tell you why. First, let's look at the data. There are 11 U.S. states that met between 51 and 120 percent of their electricity demand for the full year between the middle of 2024 and 2025 with just clean renewable sources, wind, hydro, solar, and geothermal, which we call wind, water, solar, or WWS sources. Seven of the top 11 states were dominated by wind, and four were dominated by hydro. At the top was South Dakota, which met 120% of its demand with WWS, 87% from wind, 31% from hydro, and the rest from solar. Of the top 11 wind, water, solar states, 10 had electricity prices at least two cents per kilowatt hour below the US average. Thus, states with lots of wind, water, solar as a percent of demand have low electricity prices, despite the myth to the contrary. The reason is that WWS has zero fuel cost. Fossil fuels and uranium have high costs and rise, high and rising fuel costs. Many point to California as having high renewables and high prices. Well, California is ranked only number 12 in terms of wind, water, solar as a percent of demand, and its renewables are keeping electricity prices lower than they would otherwise be. California's high electricity prices have nothing to do with renewables. They have to do with utilities passing on to customers the billions of dollars of costs from the San Bruno and Aliso Canyon fossil gas disasters, strengthening underground gas pipes due to San Bruno, many wildfires caused by transmission line sparks, undergrounding transmission lines to reduce fire risk, upgrading the aging transmission system, the high cost of fossil gas in California, and keeping Diablo Canyon nuclear open. In sum, wind, water, solar reduces electricity prices by eliminating fuel costs and acting together along with battery storage to reduce variability and provide reliability. Another myth busted.